Hi guys, today we'll talk about types of parrots. You all know that there is only one breed of parrots, but there are eight colors of parrots, fur according to American Parrot Association. That isn't all, they also have different patterns on them. So we'll talk about their colors and their patterns. You know that patterns or colors don't affect their personality. Every ferret is different. So if you have a sable ferret, which is the most perfect one, and you buy another sable ferret, hoping the other one will also be perfect, that doesn't have to be the truth. The other ferret can be a real rascal. Even though their personalities aren't uh, associated with their fur, their health can be. There are few ferrets they, that can be deaf or blind that is more common for them than for other ferrets. But we'll get to that. So what are those eight basic colors of ferrets? First one is the most common one and it is like my Frida. It's a sable ferret. You see, this is a sable ferret. Yes, Frida, be, be good, come on. You see their raccoon mask, their dark brown legs, front and rear, and their dark brown tail. Their undercoat is yellowish or light brown, but their most common uh, thread is their mask. You can see her mask, but their fur can change during winter and summer. It can be lighter, it can be darker. But the basic sable ferret looks like this. Oh honey, I'm sorry. Here you are. Isn't she the most perfect model for that? And here you are. There is also one uh, thing they have. They have pinkish nose and their nose needs to have a little light brown pattern. You can see. Here, here. Yes, honey, yes. And now let, let Frida play. Go, honey. So that is the most common uh, ferret color. Yes, honey, yes. When it comes to sable, there is also one other ferret color. It's a black sable. Black sable ferrets are also sable, but they have darker colors of their fur. And for that example, you can see it right here. It also has dark legs, dark tail, and the mask on her face, but it is much darker than normal sable, for example, Frida. Since we are already on dark colors of ferrets, Let's talk about the darkest one. It is a black ferret. Black ferret has black coat and undercoat and nose and eyes and everything. Black ferret is a ferret with only one color and that is black. It can have little white part on his fur, on his neck or on his chest or even on his legs, but that's not so common. So black ferret looks like this. You can see it. Now let's talk about light versions of ferrets. There are two very, very light versions. It's uh, an albino and dark-eyed white. Albino is a ferret which, ha which has all his coat white. He doesn't have any other color and that is due to albinism. So if you have white ferret with pink nose and ruby red eyes, you have an albino. That is the easiest ferret to recognize due to their white fur, red eyes and pink nose. An albino ferret looks like this. Another light coated ferret, as I said, is a dark eyed white. Dark eyed white is a ferret which looks like an albino but it has dark eyes, like the name says. So you can't make sure albino and dark-eyed. All you have to do is look in their eyes. They are really dark, brown, almost black. Their shorter name is Dew. D-E-W. Dark-eyed white. And 
some of them can have uh, some patterns on their fur it could be uh, black mostly it is black and they look silver silverish those are dark eyed white patterned or dew patterned those two light versions of parrots can have hearing problems and we'll talk about that later cinnamon is a rather different color from other parrots because it has a little red inside the fur you can't really see he isn't red but it is a little slightly reddish it has reddish fur as i said with slightly darker uh, legs and tail it can have mask but not so much cinnamon parrot looks like this now that we've seen cinnamon parrot let's go to the chocolate one i i'm sure they're all so sweet chocolate parrots have warm brown fur with white undercoat nose on the other hand must be light must be pink or a light brown so chocolate ferret looks like this and the only ferret color that is left is the champagne ferret champagne ferrets are lighter version of chocolate ferrets their coat is light brown their undercoat is white to cream their eyes are dark burgundy and their nose should be light pink or light beige or even light brown with slight 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 pattern and they look like this those are eight basic ferret colors now we'll talk about those basic patterns one basic pattern is a bib a bib is a white pattern on your ferret's coat under the neck so if you have a dark sable parrot which has some white uh, pattern on his chest that's a bib on the other hand uh, the one of the most common patterns besides bib is a mitt a mitt is a parrot which has white fur on the feet which ends at the ankle another extremely easy pattern to recognize is solid they only have one color and that's usually dark uh, the solid ferrets can have some white fur that is usually on their feet or around their nose place is one interesting uh, pattern on ferrets head actually it's a white line in his fur which spreads from his head to his neck uh, blaze ferrets usually have mitts and a white tip of the tail the only problem about blaze ferrets is that they can be deaf. They are really prone to deafness. Another extremely cute ferret pattern is a panda ferret. Panda ferret doesn't look like panda at all. You can recognize panda ferret because they have a dark body and their head is white. They usually don't have masks but they have dark circle around the eyes that's why they are pandas. Another extremely interesting uh, ferret pattern is a roan. Roan ferrets are great because their fur looks like they, uh, it's scattered with pattern. It's awesome, I like it. Now about the not so great part uh, with ferrets and that are health issues. Unusual patterns like panda and blaze are not so good because those ferrets can easily be deaf. They can be born deaf or they can uh, develop deaf. Uh, those ferrets who have white face and they are born deaf have one genetic defect it's called Wanderburg syndrome this syndrome results in the development of hearing mechanism in their inner ear so there are more than half of panda and blaze ferrets which are deaf due to Wanderburg syndrome that doesn't mean they can be loved actually that means that they must be loved they need more attention they need more love you can also talk to them with baby voice like every other ferret you must take good care of those ferrets because they deserve to be loved just like any other ferret i hope you learned something i hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed it please subscribe thank you and goodbye